hatred is a word that used to mean something. A very strong word used to express only the most intense emotion directed at somebody in a very negative fashion. It's not so important anymore. Why is that? Well, there's a very good reason why hatred doesn't mean anything anymore. If anything you say is remotely negative or critical of ideas that you don't agree with, some people like to automatically label that as hatred or hate speech. Oh, um, I think I can come up with an example. If I think that most religious systems today are fucked up and wrong, and I say so, some people think that's hate speech. And think that I deserve to be suspended. Now, I took some time the other day explaining to several people why I was suspended, and they had the gall to tell me that I was suspended because I broke the terms of service for hate speech. Now, this isn't exactly about the terms of service here, this is about integrity, which I've already talked about. Theists, in generally, Christians, um, some of the crazy Muslims on YouTube, they don't have integrity. What happens is, we make our videos, the entire atheist YouTube community, and we generally leave the theist videos alone. The worst thing you're going to get from atheists are one-star votes and some negative comments telling you why you're so fucking wrong. No, I, we don't go on false flagging, false DMCA campaigns. First of all, we know false DMCAs are felonies. And second of all, we know that false flagging is stupid and retarded anyway. Now, you can go and look up hundreds of videos by fundamentalist people spouting off their religious beliefs and somehow they're supposed to be able to stand behind that and it's not hate speech. I consider it hate speech when a religious homophobe says that all gays are pedophiles and deserve to be locked up or murdered for their disgusting nature. That's fucked up. Do I flag their videos though, even though I do consider those to be very hateful videos? No, I do not. We, we're better than that. It, even going beyond the terms of service when they clearly are spouting hateful things, it doesn't matter. We do not false flag or false DMCA these people because, to us at least, free speech matters. It doesn't matter what you have to say, how stupid it is, how smart it is, you deserve the chance to share it with whoever's willing to listen. And you, do, you don't deserve the kind of treatment that silences you just because some people disagree. For at least the atheist YouTubers in our little community we have here, which is growing, we, for the most part, think that free speech should be universal. It should be, it doesn't matter what you have to say, how hateful or horrible it is, you should be allowed to say it. And it's a good thing. It is a good thing that those hateful people can say their horrible things about their homophobic views, anti-gay marriage views, anti-science views, whatever they want, because that exposes their opinions and their views for the, all the public to see. Why do you think so many people hate the Westboro Baptist Church? Because they're so fucking loud and we can all hear them and everybody thinks they're fucking nuts. I'm glad that all these horrible people come on YouTube to say the horrible things that they have in their head because then we can all hear it and we can criticize their videos but more importantly other religious people can see them and see what their religion has done to them. Hatred used to be a very, very strong word, but when you're going to say that any sort of negative criticism towards a flawed system that harms people is considered hate speech, then the word hate 
doesn't mean anything to anyone anymore.